What up, IDS Mob, Harry Warburton here. Welcome to Harry Dating Combos. And today, I wanna to answer a question from a guy that's in the middle age space, and he's trying to figure out how he can go about finding women to date at his age. Where does he go? What does he do? And I wanna kinda of answer his question from a different perspective because I, I, I get his question, and I think it's a valid one to answer, but there's really more to it than what he's trying to ask. And so we're getting to that. By the way, guys, if you have a question you want me to answer on one of these shows, you can write to me at harry at introvertdatingsuccess.com. You can also go to that website to check out my ebooks, audiobooks, and programs. And you can also leave comments down below if you want me to answer questions as well. So this guy's question is very simple. And he says, I want to know where other middle-aged guys are meeting and dating multiple women regularly. Notwithstanding that I am done with internet dating, where the heck are you meeting them? Well, for starters, I will say that I would not discount internet dating. I still think it is a viable place to meet great women. In fact, in the last couple of years, I've actually helped a few clients that met their significant others on dating apps and have gone on to get married to them and have kids, and it's been absolutely great. So I'm just, I'm not a fan of discounting any kind of avenue whereby you have the potential to meet women, which actually leads me to answering your question. Because the reality is, there are women all around. I went to an event last week. It was like, I went to a, a poetry event and I was like, it was like me, a couple of friends of mine, and then I'd say about 80% of the people there were women that were single, you know? Uh, you go to the grocery store. There's single women there shopping all the time. You go to networking events. There's women, usually at these things more so than guys, that are there. And even though they're there in a business capacity, the reality is a lot of those women are single and they may not be outwardly showing that they're trying to connect with guys like that. But trust me, you go to enough of these things, you get this, some, some decent enough conversations and they start to let their hair down a bit. You, you start going out for drinks. You start meeting up at hotel lobbies. The next thing you know, you've made a close personal, uh, you made a close personal female person that ends up potentially being a relationship down the line. So there are so many places you can meet. As, as a middle-aged person, I think the hardest part is being willing to put yourself out there because you know, it's very easy to become a homebot. You know, I like to spend most of my time at home working on things, editing things, putting together these kind of shows. I go out and do camera work. So it can be, it can be very easy as, a, as an older guy to get into a routine, which also gets you into a rut because you go to the same places, you do the same things, and you can start thinking, man, I'm not meeting women in the same places I always go and staying at home. Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. So you got to really start stretching out your possibilities. You know, you can go on Groupon, you can go on Yelp, you can go on Google right now and type in fun things happening in your town for single people and a litany of things will show up, all right? So I don't think though that the real question is about where you can actually meet women because the reality is, like I said, women are all around you. I think the bigger problem that most middle-aged guys have, well, there's two problems. One is figuring out what age range of women you're going to actually date and feel okay with. And then the second one is what do you actually need to do in order to get these women interested? And those questions can be a bit hard to answer because for example, let's say you, I use the example of you go to a networking event to meet women. Great. So you go to the networking event. If you're in your head, the next thing you're thinking is, I don't know what to say, what to do, who to talk to, what signals to read that indicate that any particular woman wants to talk with me? If I do get into a conversation, how can I tell if this conversation is building interest or not? Do I know if she's single based on she has no ring on, but some women traveling without a ring doesn't mean she's not single. And then when I get to the end of the conversation, when is it too soon to get her number or should I get her social media now? Should I get her email? When do I contact her? How do I contact her? Does she want to be contacted? Is this just a meet and greet where she doesn't expect to ever see me again? Will she be weirded out if I haven't? Like, these are all the questions that really are in a guy's mind, regardless of where you're meeting women. If you're at a grocery store, if you're at a friend's event and some new woman pops up, these are typically the actual things that are going to hold you back from approaching. It's not about the location. It's about you. if you don't know what you need to actually do in order to facilitate the process of attraction on her end, then you're going to feel as though you're going to be completely lost. You don't want to embarrass yourself. You don't want to potentially risk any kind of like charges against you will say that like you're not being to do. And so men end up being at a stalemate. And then you got to factor in also the stigma of what age range are you dating? You know, I'll give you an example. As a guy that's in his 40s, I could very easily date a 40 year old, 30 year old, 40 year old. And depending on the age range that I go at though, 
I know there's going to be a societal stigma attached to that. And some guys don't want to feel that. They don't want to feel like, oh, if you're if you're 45 dating a 25-year-old, that's 20 years difference. Oh, my God, society's going to judge. I was looking at it like this. At the end of the day, the majority of the time when you're with somebody, regardless of what age they're at, assuming they're of legal age, mind you, it's going to be mostly you and her. That's it. There's going to be times you guys go out, people might judge you here and there. Maybe you go to a family event, they're kind of looking at you weird. But for, I'd say about 80% of the time that you're spending with another person, it's you and her at a restaurant, eating together, at your apartment, playing games, watching stuff on YouTube or whatever. Like, it's going to be mostly you two. So you have to ask yourself, are you going to be bothered if you happen to expand your dating range? Because I know a lot of middle-aged guys would be like, well, you know, I don't want to date anybody that's like under 38 because God forbid people judge me. But the reality is a lot of younger women like older dudes, like 25-year-old women will date you at 40, 45, 50. Not saying all, because there are some women that are like, I only date guys that are like 10 years or older. But there are plenty of women that date men that are 15 and 20 years older than them if they're so willing to put that in their bracket, for example, like a dating app, right? But also, also, let's say you're 45, you could also date women that are 15, 55. Like you have a wide variety of women you could choose from. And then that still boils down to, it's not about you can't find women and it's not about you can't find one at a different, at, at a varying age that'll date you. It's you may not think that you possess the actual skill set to talk to these women, to build up the attraction of these women and to keep them around long term if they actually decide to entertain you. And that's really the that's really the subconscious thought that's not being said here. He's saying, where do I meet women? But the reality is, women are all around. It really is, what do I do when I meet them? And that is why I have a whole YouTube channel that talks about some of these processes. I also have my Introvert Data Success Membership Academy, which has a variety of various video courses, everything from the kind of conversations they have with women, how to ask them out, how to get their number, what to talk to them about on the phone, what kind of dates to have with them, how to escalate to kisses, when to have the relationship conversation, conflict resolution skills. Like these are the things that you will find consistently throughout the course of my Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy. I have a whole course on how to do internet online dating. I have courses on how to communicate better with women. I have a bunch of different uh, gurus that I interviewed over the years that have a, a a whole variety of knowledge that's in that program, right? But I put all this together because there was a point in time when I also was lost into what to do. Now, if I go out there and I go to a networking event or a friend's party or whatever, and I see a girl that I like, I know within the next 10 moves what I need to do to get the number and get her on a date. Because I have no fear of that, it allows me to go into any space and talk to any woman that I'm interested in to be able to try to facilitate processes to get what I want. If you don't have that skill set, I could give you a litany of a thousand places to go to meet women. It's not going to matter if you don't know what to do once you're in those spaces. So hopefully you'll take that into consideration and consider checking out more of my videos here on YouTube, which is a lot of free videos, or you can sign up for one on one coaching or one of my programs or eBooks at introvertdatingsuccess.com. So hopefully this helps you out. For the rest of you guys, if you want your question answered on one of these shows, write to me at harry at introvertdatingsuccess.com or leave a comment under any one of my videos. And also check out my website to get more knowledge about what to do as a dater to help better your chances with women. Thanks for watching. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.